Now we all know that the Gypsy is one of the best ways to go off-roading on a budget. Parts are easily available, maintenance is very affordable and with its roots deep into the history of India's national security, what if you want to take your Gypsy experience up a notch? This over here is Race Concepts Maruti Suzuki Gypsy. It has been swapped with a 1.6 liter engine from the Baleno and if that wasn't enough, they've slapped on a turbo for good measure. And I'm going to tell you all about this amazing build. -in. The Suzuki Gypsy is the go-to car for everyone starting off in the off-roading scene. With the car being lightweight, easy to repair, immense off-road capability and being a Suzuki, it is extremely reliable. It was the go-to car for the Indian Army as well, with it being in use as late as, as up to January 2022. With a 1.3 litre engine making 80 bhp and 103 Nm of torque, it was one of the best ways to start your off-roading journey. But this car being a car built by Race Concepts, you know there have to be a couple of mods under the hood. Now let's cut to the chase. What sort of magic has Race Concepts done under the hood of this Suzuki Gypsy. Well, first off, they've swapped out the stock 1.3 litre NA engine for a 1.6 litre NA engine called the G16B, which has been picked up from a Baleno. And of course, they haven't stopped there. It has fully custom forged internals with rods and pistons, stage 3 cylinder head upgrade, adjustable timing wheel, stage 4 clutch with a light and flywheel, a Garrett turbo with bespoke plumbing and a top mounted intercooler because the owner of the car wanted to fit these lovely looking overlander bumpers. So now the intercooler has shifted on top of the engine. It also has an external turbo smart wastegate, a full system exhaust with a single stage muffler and since it's running a turbocharger, it has to run a standalone ECU from Race Dynamics, specifically the R200. It gets Bosch ID injectors, an AEM fuel pump, external fuel pressure regulator and a manual boost controller as well. That's quite the list and it's like I'm studying for 10th standard all over again because with each and every car, the mod list of these cars are just getting longer and longer. Now combine what I just said and this thing is capable of making 221 wheel horsepower at 7000 RPM with 7 PSI of boost running 95 octane fuel. But the thing is, there is potential to go even further. Potentially, this thing can make 300 wheel horsepower at 15 to 16 PSI of boost running XP100 uh, fuel, which is absolute insanity. and there's still a lot of custom things going on. You also have these really cool looking uh, air vents which look like they've been picked out or out of a G-Wagon or something like that. They have been fitted onto the dashboard and they look really, really cool. You have a massive tachometer and in front of the tachometer stuck on it, I think is the manual boost controller for the car. Talking about boost, on the right hand side of the steering wheel, you'll see the boost gauge as well. And you also have these awesome looking uh, sports bucket seats from Sparko so that it can hold you in place while you're going off-road. And I think that's enough of that. Let's take it out for a spin and let's see how it is to drive on a normal road. So I'm with the man himself. Joel Joseph, uh, he runs the show at uh, Race Concepts and uh, he's taking me out for a drive today in this turbocharged Gypsy. So I'm just going to ask him a couple of questions that I've uh, combined. So I think this is one of the very few turbocharged Gypsies in the country, if I'm not wrong. Yes. 
and uh, of course the owner is uh, very lucky to get it done at race concepts uh, because i'm pretty sure everyone in the country wants to come over here but of course because of logistical reasons probably some might uh, some cannot come over here but what is your favorite part about this build well uh, we have built the gypsies in the past for rallying so we were actually the only ones to run a, a fully built rally gypsy in the year 2019 20 and 2021 three years we fielded a gypsy which belonged to a friend called abhishek and we had very great success in terms of reliability and outright stage performance usually uh, turbocharged uh, uh, gypsies are not so well fed in in more sport because of uh you know reliability concerns people have done it in tsd and stuff like that but uh, So I think so. A lot of the turbo builds that you do—I mean, all of the turbo builds that you do—have standalone ECUs. Yes. Uh, so I think so. A lot of people, you know, don't really understand standalone ECUs yet. Yeah. So when you have a car which is running a standalone ECU, like what are some of the things that you need to look after or take care of, or you know, anything that you have to do in particular to look after it? See, any car when it's built, whether it has a standalone ECU or a map on it or a piggyback. well when you change the fuel system and when you change a lot of hardware then it comes down to how you maintain it uh, periodically for example uh, when you run high flow injectors and a high flow pump what happens is when you leave your car behind for couple of weeks months unattended not starting then uh, you know you end up having a sort of a fuel gumming issue inside right. the fuel pumps and the injectors now oem injectors are very uh, uh you know they built to take a lot of things but then performance injectors are very very sensitive because they operate uh, at a very high level and uh, the components are very very uh, sensitive so fuel gumming and things like uh, spark plug fouling is what usually ends up giving people cylinder misfires and you end up having loss of performance when inject the your fuel injection system gets clogged definitely you're going to run lean and then people start attributing that to you know a faulty ecu there's no such thing yeah. that the ecu does ecu is only if you end up having a wiring issue like you have rat bites with the car being parked for a long time or or where you know somebody has tried to do something else with the car maybe install an audio and then hacked it to this harness something like that but in my opinion a standalone ecu once it's dialed and tuned and if you keep things uh, you know under proper check and control then nothing really goes wrong at all correct and uh... I know we were just having this conversation, but do you personally do off-roading? Ah, uh, no, I, I'm more of a <laughs> circuit racing guy. Right. So I love tarmac. I like black more than brown. And uh, yeah, I've done rallying, and we do a lot of rallying also. So I love high-speed driving on gravel, uh, which I think is fun. So anything fast, I think, is interesting. But uh, crawling and uh, bouncing around not so much. Okay, and I know you've created some insane builds over the years, uh, but what is that one build that you haven't done yet and you really want to do it? Like, is there any dream build for you? Yeah, I would like to build some fun rear wheel drive cars, like really built cars. I mean, not talking about taking something that's already based out of something. I want to build something really uh, unique. And then, um, what I've really not done, but I really want to build is. Uh, high horse power like like at some point a really really big engine with lot of power like truck loads of power with an indian engine and an indian chassis okay how nice. it's done i figure out but <laughs> <laughs> something that i would love to do yeah so yeah i think so that's pretty much it this has been joel from race concepts and they've let us film their amazing gypsy today so a big shout out to race concepts do check them out if i'm not wrong you guys also have a youtube channel so check their youtube channel out as well they keep on posting stuff about their builds uh, so they have some really interesting content check them out on instagram and youtube uh, subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one